What's up everyone, this is Marsman here, and welcome to Marsman Gaming. In this video, I give my quick reactions to the PlayStation State of Play that officially came out earlier today, and boy was it exciting. I honestly was surprised of the quickness of this release and how they basically had not really hyped it up that much, but I was really excited to see what Sony had brought to the table. It, there's a lot of things I can say about this stream. I think that it only ran along the lines of 44 minutes in runtime, but there were some good things, there were some bad things, and there were just some ugly things, and let's all discuss it in today's video. let's talk about the good and i honestly think the biggest thing in my eyes that i was really happy to see was the fact that resident evil 4 had officially been given a teaser trailer of sorts but been officially announced and i was so happy to see that it's been brought back because honestly resident evil 4 was considered to be the best of all the resident evil games and it really put resident evil back on the popularity scale for a lot of people i think that this game is going to be extremely hyped up i think it's going to meet that standard and it is set to release march 23rd 2023 and i can guarantee you that everybody is going to be dying to have this game and PlayStation didn't necessarily make an announcement that this is exclusive. So it seems like to me that this will be a multi-platform game. What it means is that everybody will be able to enjoy this game when it finally releases. And I am honestly just excited about it. Another major positive that I saw from the state of play was Final Fantasy 16. I really liked the way that the gameplay looked. I thought it kind of gave me that vibe of Kingdom Hearts style with mixed with that new Final Fantasy 7 type of gameplay. And it's supposed to release in summer of 2023, which I think is a pretty good window because there's that time span where there's a lot of games that aren't releasing. For, for instance, this year, when we're looking at the summer, there's not really a lot of games here that we can play. And I think this is that window where it's before the fall season, which is really exciting. And it's right after the winter, which is where everything is kind of jumping off point. The summer releases are really slim. So I think this is a perfect time for another big game to release. Street Fighter 6 was pretty cool too. I'm not really a big fighter fan, but I think that this is a classic game series and it's going to be brought right into the fray. And just like I said with Resident Evil 4, this is, seems to be a multi-platform game. It's going to come to Xbox Series S and X consoles as well as the PC. So I'm going to be excited to try this out at some point and just happy to see that everyone's going to enjoy another installment. Now, along with the good is going to come with the bad. Generally, when I'm looking at the bad things here, there's just a few games that I really was not interested in playing. For exam example, uh, Stray which is a game about you being a stray cat surviving the times in a futuristic city It's supposed to release july 19th it's coming out very soon it does not look appealing to me whatsoever i honestly don't really care about playing as a stray cat walking around the streets uh maybe some people would really want to play a, a cat simulator but for me honestly i don't think this is really that big of a deal i think it's kind of boring in my opinion the fact that you're getting a uh only announcement that we had about spider-man was a remastered spider-man version that is set to go for uh, not only just on PS5 version, but for PC, and that's coming in later uh, in August 12, 2022. I thought this is bad because you didn't even set really any sort of trailer for a new Spider-Man game. I thought this is a good chance for you to at least announce a new Spider-Man game or at least give more of a trailer that has more cinematic, something that gives you a story based of what it's going to be. I know it's not coming for some time, but I think they dropped the ball on giving you another trailer to extend Spider-Man hype to, to keep getting more and more popular. Another bad, in my opinion, would be some of these VR games. Now, granted, I think I think the look of some of them look really good like i thought horizon call of the mountain looked really good like the graphics looked really phenomenal and some like the walking dead or psvr games and some other of these uh, other ones like uh, no man's sky looked really nice the, the graphics looks pretty solid but i honestly don't think vr is a pretty popular niche i mean there are some people that really enjoy it on the oculus side but i i, I don't really see the horizon vr game being too popular i think yeah if you're a playstation fan and you like horizon definitely you'll probably pick it up if you have psvr too but if you don't have it like i have a ps5 i enjoy playing ps5 games i'm having a lot of fun with it a lot of great games so far but i'm don't feel inclined to go out and get a psvr too because i'm playing horizon call of the wild on uh call of the mountain on it. and I, I i don't really think that this game gives me a a you know incentive to go out and buy a vr i think honestly i'd rather just not get it and buy a few more uh, PlayStation games that come along with it. The straight up ugly, in my opinion, is going to be the, the biggest issue I have with the save play event 
that God of War was not even discussed. Now, I granted, granted, if this is just one step of the future announcements coming for the rest of this year, that's one thing. And maybe God of War, they were a little hesitant to show gameplay footage of it because they want to make sure everything's perfect before they show any sort of major trailer or gameplay movements going on before they talk about it. But one thing that this does tell me about God of War is that it's very unlikely that it's it's coming out this year. I, I, I honestly think at this point, it's almost confirmed that God of War is not coming out in 2022. I think this gives everybody the idea that this is pushing God of War to next year, where most of the big games that we were hoping for that come out this, this year, like Starfield and Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2, are being pushed to next year. And it's such a disheartening thing to see because God of War is a great game series. PlayStation 5 really needed a na another major title to push the PlayStation 5 forward because as much as people want to say the Horizon Forbidden West is a good game, and don't get me wrong, it is a good game, but it wasn't as popular as people wanted it to be. And you're going up against the giant as Elden Ring. It kind of seems like Elden Ring is going to just cakewalk or moonwalk to the finish line for the game of the year contention. And I always thought that God of War would give it its run for its money. But if this game is not even shown at a state of play event, I honestly don't think it's coming out this year. And it's kind of sad to see because I know the God of War developers came out and said, oh no, it's definitely coming out this year. But why didn't you show us something at the state of play event? And that, it's kind of sad to see because God of War is a great game. The first the first installment was great. The series is great. I love the trailer so far, like all the it, things we've seen about God of War so far, but I'd really want to see a trailer to really push this momentum and hype going forward, and it did not give me anything. The last thing I want to talk about for the ugly was there's not a lot of exclusives here. I mean, granted, I know that Final Fantasy 16 seems like it's going to be an exclusive based on all the reports that it says, you know, but big games like obviously like you're getting a lot of these PSVR games, which is our exclusives, but everything else is not. I mean, when you're looking at Street Fighter 6, not exclusive. Resident Evil Village and Resident Evil 4 Remake, not exclusive. I mean, I know that Resident Evil Village is getting a VR, but I, I don't really get like this hype behind just playing vr like you know the games that they announced were like callisto or the like callisto's protocol or stray or a revamped version of miles morales and spider-man remastered's coming to play like these things aren't you know getting you people hyped to go buy ps5 like you want to get exclusive titles to get people to say i'm instead of, so if you're going to make a decision between getting a xbox series s or a ps5 or a xbox series x or a ps5 you know, what drives console sales are exclusives. And right now, Xbox has a leg up when it comes to Game Pass. And I know this PS Plus is now being added. And for any PlayStation player out there that is looking to get a subscription service to play games, yeah, PS Plus is a great thing for you. Exclusives coming out in the future. This year, there's no other PlayStation 5 game that you're really gonna wanna get. It means that you don't necessarily need to get a PS5 yet in order to enjoy these games. Like you're not getting any exclusives that are you know that are really pushing the envelope you can literally either buy you can you know if you're making a decision i feel like another thing that they showed at the state of play event gave you an incentive to go buy a playstation 5. now granted i think playstation 5 is a great console has a lot of good games already on it but usually at these state of play events you're looking to see exclusives like this is the equivalent of sony's e3 you want to see big splashes xbox is coming out with their big event coming soon i know the summer games fest is coming out this uh this next week and you're hoping to see some more Sony exclusive games being announced or released, but this state of play event did not do any of that. And I think that's a big ugly sign. I think that they had a chance to show God of War or show more exclusives and they missed the ball. Like you, you really need to capitalize on these big moments because you're giving a lot of those Sony fans that are really trying to play as many Sony games as possible, as many exclusives as possible, and they're playing Elden Ring. Like they're not playing any other exclusives that are coming out this year. And it seems like everything's being pushed next year. And unfortunately for game fans, this is not a good sign. That's my honest opinion about the state of play event. I, I had, uh, it was really interesting. I had a lot of fun watching it. I was happy to see gaming news come out because honestly, I'm just a gamer, an avid gamer in general. So seeing something like this come out was great to see, but I wish I saw some more, but the games I did see were very cool. Just needed some more exclusives. Uh, and also please show us some God of War stuff. Hopefully it doesn't get delayed to next year. I really hope it doesn't. Thank you guys for watching. This is Marsman from Marsman Gaming, signing off for the night. Peace out, guys.